Hello again, FA Nation. Justin Fensterman here. And with 11 games on tonight's DFS NBA slate, let's talk some value on the board for tonight's DFS NBA value video here on FantasyAlarm.com. At point guard, let's go with Jordan Poole. With the current active Warriors heading into tonight's game, Poole is looking at a usage percentage exceeding 32. Both teams are top 11 in the league in pace of play, and the Jazz border the bottom 10 in the league at defending point guards. Poole has scored no fewer than 21 points in four of his last five battles and shot at least 47% in all four of those contests. We should expect him to take around 20 shots this evening. He'll help swing the ball around too, and we should see an uptick in assists for Poole. He's dropping four and a half dimes per battle this season. He's also stolen the ball in three of his last four games, and we should see him play in the mid-30s tonight when it comes to minutes. He scored 19 points and dished six assists in 26 minutes against the Jazz last time out. Sticking with the Warriors, let's go with Clay Thompson for our shooting guard. Thompson dropped 20 points on the Jazz a couple of weeks ago, and he's hit the 20-point mark four times in his last five battles, and he's not being restricted anymore and has played 37 minutes in both of his last two outings. Like Poole, he's also posted more assists over his last two games, contributing 10 total between the two. He's also pulled down five or more boards in three of his last five games. Thompson should be looking at 20 shots tonight with Stephen Curry and Andrew Wiggins out of the lineup. And with them both out of the lineup, Thompson averages 1.28 fantasy points per minute. And that includes Draymond Green being off the floor as well. Thompson shot 39% from beyond the arc this year as well. At small forward, let's go Lonnie Walker the fourth. The Raptors ranked 24th in the league at defending opposing midcourts, and with LeBron James and Anthony Davis sidelined tonight, Walker should become the prioritized shooter, even though he won't really run the offense. Walker should be playing around 35 minutes this evening, and most of his production will come from scoring. He shot over 47% from the field this year. He shot at least 40% from beyond the arc in four of his last six contests. Normally, we wouldn't look to target scoring-dependent guard forwards for DFS, but it's a good matchup, and we should expect Walker to take around 15 shots tonight, and he's scoring over 16 points per game. He's also stolen the ball nearly once per contest this year as well. At power forward, let's go Kyle Anderson. Anderson doesn't take a lot of shots, but has taken six or more in two of his last three games. The Pacers rank 20th at covering power forwards, and he's played 28 minutes or more in three straight contests and pulled down six or more rebounds in all three of those games. He's also seen his assist boosted with Carl Anthony Towns out of the mix recently. A few weeks ago, in just 24 minutes, Anderson grabbed seven boards and blocked two shots against Indiana. He swatted away five shots total in his last two games. He also posted steals in nine of his last 10 contests. Both Minnesota and Indiana's offenses move up and down the floor the quickest in the league. Anderson's posted at least 29 DraftKings points in his last two games. Finally at center, Mitchell Robinson. Robinson has been staying out of foul trouble recently and the Hawks' front court is banged up and their bottom five in the league at defending centers. He's pulled down 11 or more boards in three of his last four contests. Robinson blocks nearly two shots per game. Robinson actually pulled down 12 rebounds and blocked three shots last month against the Hawks. His playing time in recent games brings up the appeal for him this evening, and he's played 32 minutes or more in three of his last five outings. The pace favors the Knicks in this game, and both rank in the top 12 in the league. Trips to the basket should be a bit easier tonight for Robinson. Expect a good amount of give and goes from the top of the key. And that is your DFS NBA value video, FA Nation. 11 games to play around with. Let's do it. Let's win. We do it as a family here on FantasyAlarm.com.